Hey, hey YouTube. YouTube! So today I had a different video planned. I had a video that me and Brian were making about the It Gets Better book and our top It Gets Better videos. Um, actually, Daniel, this morning before school, did an opening for that video. Yes. Sadly, we've had a day from... <laughs> That's exactly how I feel like this day has gone today. It's been completely crazy. But I promised Nathan, who is one of our YouTubers, that I will make a video today. And since things have kind of gone crazy, me, Daniel, and Selena are going to make a different video. And why has it gone crazy, you ask? Well, you want to tell what's happening today? What happened? Well, um, um, <clears throat> you, one of okay. our foster kids. Our six-year-old. Um, uh, he had an asthma attack. Mm -hmm. So basically this morning we got up, started our day off right, and took the kids to school. And Zeus, our six-year-old, had a major asthma attack at school and has been at the emergency and at the hospital most of the day. Yeah. So we are not, we're going to miss Daddy Brian tonight. It looks yes. like Daddy Brian and Zeus are spending the night in the hospital. And that's not cool. Um, basically, you know, we're going to basically update you guys on what's happening around our house. Right. So, did you, you want to share somebody, though, didn't you? Who is this? What does he do when you poke him? Oh, he lights up. And who's that? Okay. Yeah, that's his name? You like him? So that's Selena's new toy. So, we've been getting a lot of questions lately about the kids and fostering. And fostering can be a real pain in the butt sometimes. Oh, yeah like taking your six-year-old to the emergency room, but it also can be very rewarding. We're actually losing Nicholas, who is our 13-month-old foster child. He's going That's to... That's not fun. Hmm? It's not fun. He's going back to his uh, family tomorrow on Saturday, mm -hmm. and tonight is going to be his last night with us, which is kind of sad because Daddy Brian isn't home. Yeah. Daddy Brian and Nicholas have become pretty close. They've actually, uh, Nicholas is having some issues with uh, attachment with Daddy Brian. Because mm -hmm. you know Daddy Brian's easy to love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's sweet and cuddly. Yeah. Okay. You think Daddy Brian's sweet and cuddly? So, sadly, Daddy Brian's last night is going to be at the emergency room with uh, Zeus and mm -hmm. not here with Nicholas and us. So, hopefully, uh, all of our YouTubers out there send Daddy Brian some uh, good prayers, some good thoughts. And hopefully they'll have a, a good night at the hospital and get well fast. Mm -hmm. But we have a question for the kids. And I think this is a good time to make it because it seems like uh, we never get around to asking these questions or answering these questions. Mm -hmm. And so the question that was asked, let me get it up here so I read it correctly, was from Sabrina and Erica, who currently, I believe, live in Germany. But... <laughs> How are you finding having foster siblings around the house and sharing your rooms? And this is for Daniel and Selena. Oh, uh, for me, um... Are you tired? Yeah. Tired? Long day at school? Mm -hmm. I feel like, um, I got in close with Nicholas mm -hmm. and Zeus. Yeah. The good thing about having both of them over is I have someone to play with and mm -hmm. there's a cute baby room. Yeah. The bad thing is that, um... Um, the baby cries a lot, and yeah, I don't. Babies know, do cry a lot. I don't really know the problem with Zeus yet. Hmm? Yet. Well, Zeus. I mean, he might. Zeus actually might be leaving us on Tuesday. Yeah. He might be going back to his family. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the, the. What about you, Selena? What's hmm? the best thing about having foster kids in the house? Mm, I get to play with Zeus, and yeah. it's fun playing with the baby. Yeah, and you got a bigger bedroom. Yeah. Right. So as you know, we switched the kids' rooms around because they were a little bit crowded. This used to be, whose room was this? Daniel's Yeah, room. this used to be Daniel's room, but it wasn't purple. No. <laughs> so now it's all purpley because it's now Selena's room. And you're where? Upstairs where what? they're yeah. upstairs. You took our toy room from us. Yeah. Yeah. So you like having it upstairs? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a lot bigger space, huh? And the baby can come up and come yeah. in and tear it all, all your up. stuff. And then I had to clean up the whole mess. Is this it? Yeah. So, as you know, YouTube, we, we can be pretty busy uh, here at the Lufiu Family House, and things can be a little bit crazy, but we do enjoy making our videos, and we do enjoy sharing our family with you guys. Yeah. Um, it has been a very crazy week, and so um, we're happy we're touching bases with you guys. Um, I think, for me, the hardest part about having foster kids is you get attached. I know Daddy Brian doesn't want to admit it, but he is really 
really got attached to Nicholas, which is our 13-month-old. Uh, the two of them have really bonded, and I know it's going to be really tough to say goodbye to him tomorrow. Um, you know, and, and that's probably the hardest part for me and Brian about being foster parents, because you connect with kids. Um, I've gotten really close with Zeus. I think Zeus is a really cool six-year-old, and it's going to be kind of hard to see him go. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing is you never know who else is going to come along, huh? Yeah. We never know who else we're going to be able to help out. Whichever kid, you know, needs us, we're going to be here for. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll get a little girl. Maybe you could have a girl come stay with us. And you oh. can play Barbies and dress oh. up. And you can play tea. Like that? Yeah. And I have my styling stuff up there in the... Well, you can style, maybe? Hmm? So it would be kind of cool if another little girl comes and stays? A boy. And you want another little boy to come stay? No, not a little. Yeah. A big boy? So you never know. We never know what's going to come our way. What if it's so, a little boy? could be a little boy. Yeah. So in the video we were making today, we were making our top 10 uh, It Gets Better videos, and we will definitely have that video up on Sunday. Um, we are going to have our first time ever prize giveaway on Sunday. We are going to give away a copy of the It Gets Better book, which we are in, and we will sign this copy for you. And we're going to tell you how you can win this book on Sunday's video, okay? So do you want to win a prize? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So... Anything else we want to say? Um, Before we wrap this video up? Let's see. Oh, can I say my friend move? Sure. Um, I, I, one of my best friends, he used to live like all the way across town. Mm -hmm. But now he's closer to oh, my Joey. house and school. Yeah. He's just around the corner, Beaver Street. And yeah. I, could, I might be able to get there go there more often. You're pretty excited about that because Joey's your best friend, huh? Yeah. What's so cool about Joey that you guys have in common? We both video uh, shape, Yeah, we both like video games. No. Oh, what we're what both? do you guys have in common that a lot of other kids don't have in common with you and Joey? Um, you have gay parents. Oh, yeah. That's kind of unique. Oh, you have two dads and he has two moms. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, my Sorry, sweetie. So isn't that something unique to you guys? Yeah. Or does it not even... <laughs> or does it not matter anymore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really about that one. Yeah. Well, that's, that's unique. You'd be surprised. Not that many people have uh, same-sex parents. And huh? I'm going to have... And I'm going to have a play date with, um, with um, your tea on mm -hmm. Thursday. You were having a play date on Thursday. Okay, YouTube, we're going to wrap it up. Um, until next time, hopefully Brian will be back from the emergency room with us. And uh, check out our, our video on Sunday. Nathan, this video specifically for you because you said you were having withdrawals. And uh, <laughs> because of you, Selena now has a sore knee. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.